wildfires make us all so nervous. An update now at 5 o'clock on the investigation into a Wild County forensic DNA analyst that was fired over possible anomalies in her work. Well, now your reporter, Northern Colorado Dylan Thomas, has learned from the Weld County DA that they will not prosecute her. Dylan joins us live tonight in Weld County. The DA admits this has caused some questions to be raised around whether or not some inmates were possibly wrongfully committed, Dylan. You know, naturally, when someone hears that there may be some errors when it comes to DNA analysis and they're the ones in jail or it's their defense attorney, of course, they're going to raise the question of whether or not that impacts their ability to have their case revisited. But the district attorney, uh, their office tells me that the, for, after months of investigation into the former uh, analysis, they say there was no criminal intent, nor were there any major issues. There were approximately 2,000 DNA samples that she had tested that CBI and then the Well County Sheriff's Office looked at to determine how many anomalies existed. And in five of those, just five, was there any proof of errors by former Weld County Sheriff's Office forensic DNA analyst Kiara Wunsch? But when there is criminal prosecution involved, five is simply too many, which is why Wunsch found herself terminated by the Sheriff's Office earlier this year and at the center of an investigation of her own. And when there's any information to call into question the credibility of that evidence, that's something that we take very seriously. Well, District Attorney Michael Rourke told me his office dug deep into the evidence. Did any of these anomalies impact any criminal prosecution, criminal investigation, um, both past and present? We wanted to make sure that there were no um, concerns with the credibility or the truthfulness of the information that may have led to the conviction of an offender. And Rourke said they determined there was no criminal intent, saying this at least appears to be a handful of mistakes. And we declined to file charges. Had we seen evidence that these anomalies existed, that these deletions or modifications to the spreadsheet occurred for purposes of avoiding additional work, cutting corners, trying to increase efficiency, that would have been a very different story. Rourke said Wunsch wasn't criminally culpable, but admits this will cause some to now be skeptical of those investigating their DNA. Sure, this is going to give an opportunity for uh, defense attorneys or criminal defendants to, to question the forensic sciences that may have been uh, utilized in their cases. The DA's office tells us that some of these errors were in the Microsoft program called Excel. They tell us that they found proof that Wunsch actually continued her work as she was supposed to, even after doing those issues in Excel, proving to them that these were probably just mistakes related to not knowing how to operate the software. We should note the Weld County Sheriff's Office fired Wunsch months ago. Reporting live tonight in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you for that. Dylan covers what is happening all across northern Colorado for you. He's been working hard reporting from Estes Park, Loveland and Greeley.